Another day, another critic. Former top officials from Australia's Competition Commission joined the debate amid growing calls for a U-turn on a Qatar Airways block. This Qatar University professor is among the top 2% of scientists around the world. Will it screen? Will it not? We have the details on whether Barbie will show in Qatar. And finally, Qatar Charity sets up a brand new football stadium for displaced Syrians. Hi, it's Adi. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Former officials from Australia's Competition and Consumer Commission have weighed in on a major debate that has rocked the aviation industry. Alan Fells, the inaugural chair of the commission, said the government's block of extra Qatar Airways flights is protecting Qantas from competition. Fells added that prices are 50% higher than they were before COVID and will continue to do so due to Qantas having a monopoly. The comments were echoed by former chair Rod Sims, who said the decision is difficult to fathom. This comes after the Qantas chief attempted to downplay concerns by claiming air are decreasing. Now, a top Qatar University professor has been recognized among an elite list of global scientists. Dr. Al-Addin Al-Kilani, a professor of pharmaceutical and nanoscience in the College of Pharmacy, has secured a spot in a list of top 2% of world cited scientists. Dr. Al-Kilani is responsible for registering more than 20 pharmacy products across US and Europe, as well as making groundbreaking efforts in cancer therapy. For his entire list of achievements, head over to our website. Now, if you're wondering whether Barbie will be screened in Qatar, here Here's the answer. Doha News can confirm the Hollywood blockbuster will not be shown in Qatar despite earlier reports. Last month, Qatar-based Elan Group said the movie would be screened at Novo Cinemas on the 31st of August. However, a source familiar with the matter has confirmed this will not go ahead. Qatar now joins a number of Arab countries around the region that have opted to not screen the film. Despite initially postponing the film, the UAE and Saudi Arabia eventually went ahead with the release. And finally, Qatar Charity has completed the construction of a football stadium in Zoghra camp in the countryside of Syria's Aleppo. The project is part of the World Cup 2022 legacy and aims to provide a safe, healthy and stimulating recreational environment for youth and children. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.